happy you're at the clinic. And at the clinic, there's medicine. And there's a remedy. And there's an answer. So I know tonight that you have found the right place. And there isn't any place like this place anywhere near this place. So this must be the place. We're just thrilled to have you with us. Well, I look back and see all of you from back here to over here, and I'm so glad to see you. And that is not a lie, because the Bible said, Thou shalt not lie. And so that's one of the commandments that we must abide by. I am thrilled to see you. I think about God's good family. I think about this church that through the week we go into Bible studies and bilingual service Tuesday night, tomorrow night at 6 Bible study. And after that, the band will be meeting, practicing, getting ready. Didn't they sound good tonight? Yeah. Then we go into bilingual service Tuesday night, and I come in, I don't ask for a translator, and I do not speak to Espanola. I do not. Uh, only very sparingly. I can say this, I'll just say this in What did I say? You don't even know what I said. That's how bad my Spanish is. Um, let me try another one. See, I just say this thing. What did I say? Sit down. But God is good to us. And when I think about Wednesday night, the youth gathering again, and, and our youth are being blessed to the Lord. We're getting ready for a national youth meeting here, August the 8th and 9th, and there'll be uh, other churches coming from. And we have Brother Manning coming from Keysport, Tennessee, that will be preaching. Uh, praise God! That meeting for our youth and uh, some of the hope for representatives from Kingsport, and then uh, Brother Harley will be there in Miami Friday night and Saturday of this week, and uh, they're coming on West Palm Beach and uh, some other parts uh, that have responded, Brother. Uh, up in Orlando for the Lunar. Uh, so we are in Sebring, we're hoping. Uh, several churches be coming in. And then we are looking in the latter part of August, the 27th of August, we are looking for a Holy Ghost filled <coughs> revival from God starting the night of the 27th, right on through Sunday. And we'll run it further than that if God will inspire and bless the church in revival. Brother Rick Hart, he is a firebone preacher from yeah. the rice fields of Arkansas. And Brother George Lacat is going to be here. And uh, some others are going to be here. Uh, so this church is excited about what's coming in the future. We're excited about what God is doing tonight. And uh, we appreciate all of you. Then we go from Wednesday night, the gathering of God's people. Thursday night, we've opened up a brand new door at 625, isn't it? 626. 626, U.S. 41 South, um, and uh, in just on the border of Port Charlotte and Northport. And we have a lovely building there. You'll see the new sign out, Gospel Assembly, on the uh, road there, U.S. 41. And uh, we meet there on Thursday nights. And what a meeting we have in that brand new mission in Port Charlotte. Have friends there, tell them about it. Uh, tell them to come and be with us because we're enjoying some exciting It's Friday, they get the food on Thursday, and here comes uh, actually two, mi two ministries. Uh, Sister Marita back there and her uh, work that she's doing and helping us also. Sister Marita, we thank you. We love you. And we thank you for what we do to bless this church. We are so thankful. And then we have our feeding program. They go out into the camps and they feed the homeless. And you should be here on a Friday 
and see the people coming on bicycles, walking. Some of them with no food, no places to sleep. Some of them, I sat down at the table the other day and I prayed with a the family. They're, they were going back in the woods out here. They have a place uh, east of us where they uh, uh, live in the woods at this present time. And uh, you should see them come and be fed and the homeless being fed. Uh, we feed them. Do you charge for them? No, thank God for the contribution of the people of God that makes it possible for us to give them that food without charging. And not only do we give them a sack of food to take home, uh, or a couple of sacks, or three sacks. I've seen them taking uh, three sacks out, Sister Carol over here tells me. And uh, not only that, but we sit them down to a meal at the table and, and, and feed them hot uh, food, and they lead out of there. Uh, they're not the ordinary class of people that you see. They're not the Sunday night crowd sitting here. Uh, they, many of them have stories to tell that are heartbreaking, heartrending. Uh, but we do what we can do. We don't change their whole world. No. But we change a little bit of their world. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You know, you can live the rest of your life in between the great things you cannot do and the small things you will not do. The danger is you may wind up doing nothing at all. Do a little bit. Right. A little bit. This building is made up of little bits of material yeah. put together. So I thank God for the church. Right. And I'm very thankful for all of you that are here on a Sunday night. I'm thankful for one of you. Uh, we are a diverse people. We're different. And we're unorthodox. But I ask you as we love you for the way that God has made you and God has created you. You love us for the way that we are. That's the secret of God's family, Amen. is to love each other Amen. the way we are. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And to forgive each other and to love one another. And so then here on a Sunday night, we have a tremendous service. I can feel that choir. They had me jumping. My goodness, I behave myself. <laughs> For your sake. Praise God. <laughs> I behave myself for your sake. Too. You know who I'm echoing? I'm echoing a very famous man right. called the Apostle. Yeah. Paul the yeah. Apostle. He said, if I be best, now I never went that far. Paul said, if he was crazy, forget about it. Yeah. He said, if I be beside myself, it, it, uh, it, it's all right. It's to God. Then he said, if I be sober, it's for your cause. Yeah. So I, I tell you tonight, I feel, I feel the joy of the Lord Amen. in my soul. Amen. Praise our God. You praise the Lord while somebody hand me a glass of water. you know that's the result of 63 years of preaching the gospel. Yes. That's the sound coming out now. Praise but God. God bless you because you can hear the voice that is now and not the one that was yesterday. I love God's family. I love God's people. And tonight we're just thrilled. We are thrilled because we have a couple of dear, dear, lovely lady sisters with us. And I'm not going to put them on the spot. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Amen. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Uh, they're here with us tonight for the first time, but they're not strangers because Gina, the one from West Virginia, pulled up your hand back there. You're sitting beside Gina also there. There's two of you there. <clears throat> She's been looking at us on YouTube. She's been watching us sing. She's been seeing Sister Marlowe. And somewhere, connection was made from her heart to your heart. And they're like sisters. They really love one another. They've never met until tonight. Like your daughter. All right. Uh, we'll accept you. Praise God. <laughs> 
since all of us have a part in this. And, and uh, you know, because I am married to her. And, uh, so, daughter, welcome home. <laughs> Beside her, meeting for the first time, is Laura. And she's only from Tampa. They're sisters, but we are so thrilled to have them. <laughs> So welcome, and we love them. And good to see Brother Earl Canop here. Yes. Yes. Always love Brother Canop. <clears throat> Always appreciate him coming. And uh, we're going to do what we do here on Sunday night. We're going to rise up, and we're going to just ask the Lord to bless the service, bless the church tonight, Amen. and be with our worship and be with the rest of the Christians everywhere to heal the sick, to loose the lame, to heal the blind, to let the afflicted go free. Amen, hallelujah. We're going to pray in that way. Glory to God, thank you, Jesus. We're so glad to see Sister Phyllis Kenzer here. Yes, amen. throughout the weekend. Yes, we can. Glad that she's able to be in service tonight. Amen. Glad that everyone else, who else is in tonight? Tyler. Tyler, Tyler. 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 yes I Yes. Well, I don't see, well, there he is, yes, yeah. I'm going to miss Tyler. Tyler, welcome. Yes. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. And everyone else, if you're here tonight visiting, God bless you. If you're the first time, God bless you. And we just want you to be at home with us. And this is a growing church, and it's headed for upper heights and climbing upward, not downward. And we're glad the Lord is helping each other. I'm glad the Lord has, I believe, touched with the Steve Pope. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Thank God. So we thank him for all these good things that he's doing for us Glory. and blessing us and helping us in our church. Thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. And the rest of you, I'm glad to see you. If I missed someone, uh, pardon me if I didn't call your name, got to call a name. We'll be calling names uh, throughout the rest of the evening, but we're glad these special ones are with us. We're going to rise up the way we pray. You can remain sitting, you can kneel, you can come down to the altars and pray. You can pray silently. Prayer is not a position. It is a conversation. Yes. between you and God. And you can pray silently. You can pray uh, outwardly. Uh, give him praise. Give him praise. And then thank him for your home, your breath, your life, every good thing he's given you. And remember this, with all the thanksgiving you give God, he's aware that you have a, a many, many things you need fixed, rearranged. He knows that. Yes, he, does. he knows that. So you're giving thanks for what he's already done. Yes. And he can do the rest. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to pray. And then when we finish praying, 